Greetings fellow sword lovers. In this video I'm going to introduce you to the Prussian Cavalry Trooper Sword model 1852. This German sword is the one that replaced the veteran model 1811 for the cavalry. Like its predecessor, it was initially issued to the mounted combat units, which were the Hussars, the Dragoons and the Lancers, or Ulans. The cuirassiers having their own distinctive sword, they were not involved with this model. A quick glance between the two swords shows that the design change was pretty drastic and this is because the 1852 was meant to be a better sword in terms of cut and thrust capabilities and better hand protection. If the grip and pommel were kept unchanged, the biggest improvement was with the guard as it now had broad flat branches on the outer and the inner side of the hilt that now covered the hand more significantly. The blade type was also completely reworked. Rather than having the massive old blade, it was made a bit slimmer and its curvature reduced. The traditional hatchet point was replaced by a more sharp, acute spear point which was capable of better thrusts. As with standard army issued weaponry, the sword fittings were all usually inspected and stamped by the inspectors and weapons manufacturer and dated when they were issued. Upon reception by the regiments, they could be marked then by the unit armor who marked the unit markings or obliterated them when the sword was passed to another unit. The scabbard was made of a sheet of steel with two rings, but in the last decades of the century, the remaining swords that were still on active service would have the lower rings removed. In this specimen, the unit marking belonged to the Hussar Regiment No. 16, 1st Squadron and Weapon No. 2. The back is dated 1860 of the reign of Frederick William IV, and made by the maker Klauberg in Solingen. You might notice a little italic G on the Ricasso. This was the Gus Stahlmark, indicating that the blade was made of a certain type of steel, which uh, should not be confused with cast or melted steel, as these were not fit for uh, combat blades. The scabbard is also marked, but to Hussar Regiment number 16, this time 4th squadron and weapon number 26. The 1852 sword would be equipped by the cavalrymen during the second Schleswig War, the Austro-Prussian War and the Franco-Prussian War. After these years of war experience, the sword would be deemed good for improvement. Ultimately, the 1852 sword was to be replaced in 1879 by a new improved version and this was uh, with a new blade so as you can see in this improved version it only had a pipe back blade instead of the more traditional one this the new sword was called or termed the 1852 79 79 model and i'm going to deal with this one in a future video there aren't many uh, versions of uh, foreign countries for the sword except one in, uh, in Argentina which was the 1895 model if I remember correctly it was almost the same thing as the Prussian sword except that it had uh, national Argentine markings on the hilt and the blade and I think that Spain also copied the design of the 1852 to make one sword but I have no real information about that specific sword and within the German realm, within the German states, and uh, when it became an empire, this sword was, uh, surprisingly enough, not forced to other German states. Bavaria and Württemberg had, for example, their own patterns of swords for their cavalry. But there was one exception. 
And this was uh, the state of Saxony, which modeled their own swords after the 1852. And this gave way to the 1867 cavalry trooper sword for Saxony. And as you can see, it is exactly the same thing as the 1852 Persian sword, except for the grip type. And this one is shaped more like a broom handle. So this concludes today's video. If you are interested to know more about uh, German military swords or bayonets, then I strongly recommend that you visit the uh, YouTube channel Imperial German Bayonets if you want to see more about the 1852 sword and many other uh, cool vids about German swords. So uh, thank you once again for your time. I'll be seeing you in the next video.